Hey everyone, welcome to week three of my devlog. Thank you so much for watching the last two. It's had great responses. So this week, uh, I've been doing a lot of working with UV mapping to make sure everything looks pretty. And dun da da dun, the uh, sail is now all set up. So I've added this very cheap texture, but the most important thing is you get to see where the sail is going. The other thing that I've added is making sure that the sail waves back and forth when you're aiming upwind. Currently, the wind is coming this way and it's hitting the sail, and normally what happens is it hits that uh, round edge and it starts flapping the sail back and forth, and that's how you know that your sail is not uh, giving any power. I've also added the UV mapping to the ropes, so now they actually look like ropes as opposed to gray boxes, um, and they work as well, just grabbing them and pulling them in. And now you can see that as I come out of irons, which is when your um, sail is not aiming the correct way, it's actually causing the sail to um, stretch out, just like a realistic sail. Pretty happy about that, it's uh, working pretty well. And if I let go of this, the sail's also gonna get uh, pushed over and then go back into irons. As you can see, the sail uh, has given full power, so it's actually making this, uh, this uh, sheet move back and forth. The other thing that I've added is, I was having real problems of uh, using the triggers to actually, you know, hold on to quite a, uh, hold on to things for quite a long time. Um, and one thing that I realized after playing Onward for like 10 hours is that uh, using the toggle buttons is a really good way to uh, allow people to grab things. So now what I've done is that you can grab anything as a toggle with the, um, the grip buttons. So if I go over here, click once, and then I now have access over um, this uh, boom and I can move it back and forth and then if I click again it lets go. I can also do that with the sheets so I can grab them and then move around. I'm not touching the grips right now. It makes it easy so you can just grab onto something and then um, when you want to let go of it you just click the grips again. Now what I think I'm going to do is for the triggers I'm going to make the triggers um, if you pull it all the way down it'll make the triggers drop whatever you have um, or if you've got a sheet and you pull it down just a little bit, it'll slide out uh, through your fingers. The other thing that I want to do is actually add the triggers. So if you want to grab quick things like grab the boom, you can use the trigger, pull back, release, and the boom goes out. So the other thing that I've done is actually got some more sailing working. So I'm going to transport over to my sailboat right now. Oh, and it's flipping back and forth. Um, so one thing I did is I added the rudder. You can now grab the rudder, and if I pull this in and make the uh, sail taut, I'm actually going to start sailing. I've got it working for about eight knots of uh, weather. I have capsized a couple times, um, but now the rudder actually doesn't just push you around. It depends on the speed that you're going. So moving this over here, get a little bit of speed up. Important thing about sailing is that you want to get enough speed so you can go into a tack, which is where you actually turn right around the uh, uh, right around the wind and uh, flip to the other side because you can't actually sail directly upwind. So we're going to do a tack now. You can see that the rope is freaking out a bit. Um, I still have to fix that. It has something to do with the physics update. I'm going to tack around this guy. So I push the rudder out there, swing right around, duck so that the boom goes over me, and then I'm back in the uh, their tack. Looks like I'm still in irons. Grab this thing. It doesn't look like I've gone all the way. There we go. As you can see, if I've got the, uh, oh, 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 uh oh, oh, and I capsized. So there's still some issues with the boat. For example, it's not doing any uh, frictional resistance on here right now, so I'm going to fly through this. Um, but the issue is that the boat currently flips and the buoyancy doesn't flip itself back up. So I gotta figure out how to do that, but uh, overall the sailing's working a lot better now and I should be able to, this week, spend most of my time fixing the sailing and making sure that the uh, sailboat actually behaves correctly. I'm gonna add viscous forces, so if it's upside down like this, it's gonna slow down quite quickly. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna jump out and talk about some other things. Hey, so there's a bunch of questions about multiplayer um, in the comments last week, and I wanted to sort of address that. I'm going to have two types of multiplayer. One is where you can just crew your own boat and race around with uh, other people that are in their own boats as well. 
And then the other one is I'm going to make sure that you can crew a boat with another person or multiple people. Uh, so the idea is that you can either race around against other people or you can race around with your friends or random people you meet on the internet and then verse other people probably like sailing things or just go for a nice joyride. Uh, I think that's pretty important to make this uh, a huge part of the game. Um, I've been playing Onward nonstop for, you know, 10 hours and uh, really the part of that game that's awesome is the ability to communicate and actually just like meet random people on the internet. Um, but of course you can still play by yourself. You just want to learn how to sail or, um, you know, not, or you're a little shy. Um, also boat types. So there was some questions about boat types and I want to add at least three on launch. One is the tender that you saw there, really small, simple boat. That's not super powerful and won't capsize very easily. Once I add more of the forces, um, I'm going to have that, the uh, learning boat, so you start off and you make sure that you know how to um, sail that before you get into bigger boats. And then a laser, which is a high performance one to two person sail dinghy. It's about 14 feet long. Um, get that working really well. It's also a planing boat, so it gets up above the uh, waves. And that was the thing that I learned how to sail on. Um, so it would be really fun to get back to that, uh, even though my parents sold uh, that sailboat many years ago. And then last, I want to have a 27 foot sailboat. Uh, those are usually the entry uh, size sailboats where you actually have a cabin and you can sleep on them. And my friend's 27 sailboat is really fun to sail and it's not too hard because it only has two sails, um, tillered rudder as well, which is a little bit easier to uh, do as opposed to a wheel and uh, get that working uh, really well. So you'll have a, a sort of a, a good area to, or a good type of boat to go and sail with other people in multiplayer. Thanks for all the comments and feedback on both the YouTube and the Reddit post. I really appreciate it. seems like people are really excited for the game. Feel free to ask any more questions, and I'm going to keep doing these because uh, it's a really good way to keep myself motivated. Um, so I release something every week. No idea when I'm actually going to release the game, but uh, you'll see the progress, and you'll probably get a sense when, get, uh, when we get closer to releasing it. Thanks a lot. Bye.